His name is Jimmy of the Man. He talks out of his ass. Drinking beer, teaching Japanese, talking smack. He is Jimmy of the Man. We'll do another one just in case. What's up, people? My name is Mr. Brian Loves Movies. You're watching Japanese for Morons with Gimme a Flake Man. Check him out. And scene. <laughs> All right. Hello there, YouTube. It's Gimme a Flake Man, King of the Morons, here to talk to you about uh, blogs. Now, first, the first thing to tell you is Maggie Sensei is back from Hawaii. She said she went to Hawaii. I don't know what she was running around. There's some kind of bull French bulldog convention. And she's back, and I got her right here in the chair next to me. You can't see it's off camera, but I got her in a chair, and I'm whipping her and beating her and kicking her and uh, depriving her of bones until she gets some lessons out. So very soon you will see some new lessons on maggiesensei.com. So check out that site. That is our Japanese vlogging site. Uh, and thanks so much always for the support. That site seems to be growing at, a, at just a very healthy rate. And we're very happy with that. Um, speaking of blogs and vlogs, uh, there are two, there used to be two uh, social bookmarking sites. Uh, Japan-centric social bookmarking sites, that is. If you don't know what a, a social bookmarking site is, it's a little bit like, it, well, it is, it's Reddit or Dig, but these two, japansock.com and japundit.com, are Japan-centric only. That means they only talk about Japan. I'm pretty redundant, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, um, there, used to be, there used to be two, Japansock and Japundit, but recently, just, just recently, Japansock has taken away the voting system on their site. I don't, I'm not sure why exactly, I haven't talked to Nick, the guy who uh, runs runs the place, but um, personally, my feeling is that it's going to take away uh, the appeal a little bit because it'll just be him, you know. Which well, actually could be good if he's uh, picks really interesting subjects every time. But it seems like a lot of work. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, I'd like to know what you guys. Uh, what first of all, do you visit? Uh, this is what I'd like to know. What's what Japan? Um, Japan related sites do you visit and why? So I'd like your advice on that. And I actually like to collect these sites so I can link to them or provide links to them in the future or for my own, for everyone's benefit. So if you know any uh, Japan related sites, please put them in the comments. Where do you go and why? That's important. Um, but I do want to know what you, if you have visited Japan Sock uh, or Japundant, those two social bookmark, um, social, uh, what's it called? Social bookmarking sites and uh, which one you prefer and why. Um, personally, I think Japan Sock is a lot slicker looking than Japundit, but Japundit is a lot more popular. And I'm, I don't know why exactly, so if you know why, or if you have an idea, please let me know in the comments. The other interesting thing uh, is Jap Japundit is also, the, the guy who runs Japundit, his name is Eddie, I call him Eddie, you know, uh, is uh, he also runs japantalk.org which is, I don't know if it's the number one, but one of the top uh, podcasts uh, in the world, right? In the internet world, at least, uh, in, the, in the world. And uh, they've just reached a 500,000 download uh, milestone. So congratulations to japantalk.org. Uh, and if you don't know about it, you should check it out. It's a pretty interesting little radio show that they do, kind of a radio show. I, I call it a radio show. I'm not, um, it's a podcast, but it's like a 20, 20 minute, 20, 20 to 30 minute podcast that they do once a week. And it's interesting, like stuff that I didn't know about happening in Japan. He seems to be able to find uh, really interesting news stories and he just tells you what's happening and a lot of them are kind of like edgy like weird stuff it, you know this the kind of stuff that we would be interested in so check it out japantalk.org it's a lot of fun it's a podcast and if you do listen to any other J japan centric podcast let me know i'd like to know those as well please recommend them to me i'm sure a lot of people out there know a lot more than i do um you internet trolls and such but um um yeah, check out um, check out japantalk.org. And this guy now, for the first time in history, he's he's starting to record his shows on youtubecom slash japundant channel. So uh, he's new. The guy's been around in Japan longer than I have. So he's he's got a deep well of information to fish from. I'm sure he'd be a great guy to ask any questions about how Japan is changing. And a lot of you, uh, a, lot, a lot of the people who you watch, um, great young people who are here now. On YouTube now honestly don't know how things were back in the day and even you know things that I remember for example the other day I was talking about wheelchairs and back in the day I remember that they had no wheelchair access in certain uh, subways and you would actually see the the uh, icky the what do you call them the train staff carrying people in wheelchairs like there'd be five or six of them actually carrying people in the wheelchair down the stairs and on, onto the train it's just amazing but now you don't see that much anymore anyway this guy has got a, a, a like i said a deep well of knowledge to to tap from to fish from 
So he's someone you definitely want to watch. Um, like I said, he's a little bit older than I am. Um, not nearly as handsome, but but he's definitely someone uh, checking worth checking out. He's going to give you different information from the people you've been watching, and he's got a great voice to listen to, um, and which you'll probably hear more of on his JapanTalk.org. But anyway, check him out on YouTube. Tell me about um, web uh, sites that you visit that are Japan-centric, and um, even if they're language or non-language, anything having to do with Japan, I'm interested. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. But yeah, if you wanted to do an intro for, m for my channel, that would be great, too. Um, I do a... Just a, basically, it's a my channel is a movie review channel and a music review channel, just random stuff. But um, but yeah, that'll be awesome. Um, anyway, so.